Thomas the Tank Engine was hard at work pulling Annie and Clarabelle around his branch line. As Thomas got closer to the station, he could see Percy in the distance. What's Percy doing here? asked Thomas. We needed another engine to deal with the freight trains. You can keep pulling Ali and Clarabelle, and Percy can deal with the trucks. If anything, Thomas was relieved with this news after remembering what happened last time. Show them who's boss Percy and you'll be absolutely fine. Sir, am I really just going to be dealing with freight trains? asked Percy. Well, that's why we've brought you here, Percy, as we know how good you are with dealing with the freight trains. With that, Thomas blew his whistle, and he set off with Annie and Clarabelle. It was also time for Percy to leave, as he went and collected the trucks. He blew his whistle, and started on his journey. Why can't I pull a passenger train? It's not fair, it's not fair, said Percy. Oh look, they've sent a green one this time. The other trucks laughed at Scruffy's comment. <laughs> Percy wasn't worried though, as he dealt with trucks many, many times before. He confidently hooked up to them, and started pulling them away without a problem. Percy was pulling the trucks without a single problem, but was just thinking of how much he wanted to pull a passenger train. Hello, Farmer McCall, Percy sighed. As the weeks went by, Percy thought surely, surely he must get an opportunity to pull some coaches soon. I'm never going to pull coaches, am I? I'm going to be stuck with these wagons forever and ever. One morning, Thomas's driver couldn't get him started. Percy arrived, expecting to go and collect some more trucks. Hello, Percy. Where Thomas can't get started today, you're going to have to go and get Annie and Clarabelle. We can't let the passengers down. I'll be ready in a minute, said Thomas. It'll take longer than that, unfortunately, Thomas, said his driver. No, sorry, Thomas. We're going to have to send Percy. As long as that's okay with you, Percy. Percy was beaming. Of course it is, sir. Right, off you go to go and get Annie and Clarabelle. I have faith in you, Percy. Don't let me down. I won't, sir, I won't. You can count on me, said Percy. And finally, after months of working hard, Percy couldn't believe he'd finally got his chance to pull the passenger train. This is amazing, said Percy. After a fantastic day pulling Annie and Clarabelle, Percy was soon approaching his last stop. Well done, Percy. You've done brilliant today. After how you've conducted yourself today, Percy, maybe you'll get another chance to pull more coaches in the future. I hope so, sir, said Percy. I'm so much more useful than for just pulling trucks. A couple of months later, the branch line had had a delivery of not just any coaches, but coaches for Percy after all the hard work he'd put in. Where have these come from? asked Thomas. These coaches are for Percy now, as a reward for how well he's done since joining the branch line. That's not fair, what about me? said Thomas. Don't worry Thomas, keep working hard and you'll be rewarded too. We're also hoping that these may cheer Percy up a bit, as he's been a bit down in the dumps. Percy puffed along expecting to collect some more trucks, totally unaware of the surprise that was waiting for him. I hope one day I get to pull another passenger train again, said Percy. 
As he arrived at the station, Percy could see two shiny new red coaches. Who are these for? asked Percy. These, Percy, are your very own set of red coaches as a reward for how well you've done since you've joined us. Percy couldn't believe it. Thank you, thank you, he said. Percy went off to turn himself round so he could come and connect up to his brand new coaches. Percy couldn't believe still that he had his very own set of passenger coaches and was absolutely overwhelmed. Thank you, sir, thank you. This is the best day ever. Don't worry, I won't let you down. With that, Percy blew his whistle and set off on his journey with his brand new coaches. Hello, Farmer McCall. Look at my coaches. Look at my coaches, Percy said. As Percy was travelling round with his brand new coaches, feeling proud as can be, there was no chance that he was ever going to be feeling sad ever again.